Tonight's recap of The Bachelorette, and we want to start it off Happy Memorial Day. And two birthday shout outs one for John E. E. Coca and one for Pita Bread Pita. Happy birthday! Yo, we love you. <laughs> okay, a little so, bit of wackiness going on on The Bachelorette. Yeah, because the guys are living in like the guest house behind Deanna's mansion. But each week, three will be moving in with her. It's Trey Bizarre, too, because, like, the guest house has bunk beds and a An naked... open shower. That only has, like, cold water, and it's really messed up. They never had this whole, like, move-in thing on The Bachelor. No. Well, I don't think they would do that with the women, but... I know, but The first three guys to move into the mansion were the winners of the first impression roses from last week so that was jeremy jesse and richard right well the first date card has arrived kids <laughs> and that is for jason ryan twilly sean paul fred and richard and the clue tag thing was like do you believe in magic well since they're in california one must assume that they're going to the magic castle Ooh. That place is creepy. <laughs> it's crazy. I want to go there. Do you really? Yeah. I'm afraid that I'd never come out. So they go to this um, little intimate magic show. Private. And Deanna becomes the assistant for the magician. Right. And then her and Jason go in this box, a tiny box. And poof, they, they disappear. disappear. <laughs> wow, that was scary. They're like, where are we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, so then they come out. And uh, they have a little chat, and uh, it was okay, you know. Mm. It wasn't anything spectacular. They just talked. So then they reappear, and... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Then we find out that the first single date, and the only single date of this episode, is going to Graham. 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 So, <laughs> the clue was, let's head to the shore to get swept away. Wow, what could that be in California? I don't know. No, the, the beach? Yeah. So okay. back to the group date. Sean. A, yeah, in another private magic room. Mr. Karate. Oh. He's wearing this ugly suit. That was and the was ugliest like, suit I have ever seen in my entire life. And the pattern didn't even match up here. I think he got it at Walmart. And it was so funny because that he room was trying to be all had a serious. piano. Yeah. But it was a piano that became alive and taunted him and, and just picked away at him until he wanted to kill himself. Yeah. Every time he started to say something, it would play. It mocked him. Yeah, yeah and I it mean, would play, like, certain things right. during certain points in the conversation. <laughs> oh. It was so funny. It was great. I loved it. He wants to kick a lemon off of its head. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Twilly, this guy creeps me out for some reason. Twilly, yeah. I don't know you, but my first impression is, eh, creepy. Yeah, Deanna was like, all right, let's go around the room and everyone do a magic trick. Right. So Twilly didn't know any, so he's like, oh, I'm going to tell this fairy tale. An epic fairy tale that lasted for three or four hours. It went on forever. Oh, and he was like, wait, guys, I'm almost yeah. done. And no, Deanna was like, okay, it. that's it. And he's like, no, wait, yeah. what's first coming up? Ugh, then Richard did the most romantic thing, I thought, of the Magic Castle thing. He made a little origami rose to that give to her. Cute. That was a nice touch. Very nice touch. Yes. But he shouldn't have told her that he's done that before. <laughs> well, only once. So, Paul from Canada, the 23-year-old, he's been engaged before. Yeah. He's only 23. I thought he was a freak last week because of the whole, like, jumping in the pool thing, but he seems pretty cool. Really? Because I thought, wow, that's kind of creepy that uh, he's been engaged and this show he might, you know, be getting engaged. Why? And I don't know, just something doesn't sit right with me and him. But she liked it because she got uh, the rose and gave it right to him. Mm -hmm. So congratulations, I guess. <laughs> So then he went back and took a shower. In naked. naked. He likes to get naked. naked. Graham, he knows that if he doesn't get the date, Rose... He's going. That's right. So they're going to fly a kite at the beach. Oh. That sounds like totally fun. They totally couldn't do it. I think they were going in the wrong direction. They like, were with such the spazzes when it came to flying that kite. It, it looked windy, bad. too. Well, the next date box has arrived. <laughs> Chris, Robert, Brian, Jesse, Ron, Jeremy, and Eric. Step up to the plate. You know what that means, kids. Baseball. 
Well, back on the single date, Graham has gotten into some heavy convo with Deanna. Yeah, she's like, how many relationships have you had? Have you ever been in love? <laughs> I've only so, been in love once, and I've only had one serious relationship, and I'm like 100 years old. Yeah, so she's like, what? Yeah. You just want to be in love with, like, anyone. I love your creepy five o'clock shadow. Here's the rose. It's time for sexy talk around the campfire with the boys. No. It's like a Boy Scout trip gone wrong. Yeah. Well, Ryan had to spill his guts to the guys. But it wasn't the reaction that I expected from everyone else. They I were think all, like, crying. Was, like, crying. There was a couple that were like, <laughs> God, Dude, I that's love so you. cool. I know. <laughs> well, they all warned Twilly. Dude, you're kind of creepy. You better, like, show Deanna a different side. Otherwise, you're gone. Yeah, well, he did something even more creepy. Like, he had the right intentions. Right. But it turned out really creepy. He was so, waiting in the bushes. He waited in the bushes at the mansion no. for her to get back from the date with Graham. And he was, like, watching them, like, say goodbye. And he's like... <laughs> and then, I think she was really creeped out at first. But she was like, like, hey, I'll go with it. jumps out of the bushes and, like, can I talk to you? <laughs> She's like... I guess. It was weird. Yeah, so he basically uh, said nothing mm -hmm. <laughs> and then left. So now it's time for the group date at Dodger Stadium. Woo, and kids. And out comes Tommy Lasorda. Wow, he totally put back on all the weight from the Slim Fast commercial days. It didn't work. What are you going to do? So, yeah, Chris murdered the national anthem. That was just embarrassing. We find out at the end of the show, though, that everybody did, but they just really wanted to single out Chris because he's an F-nut. So, let's have a home run derby. All right, move the fences in. <laughs> Way in. Yeah. So, Jeremy was second to last, and he ended up with six home runs, by far the leader. It's a pretty nice showing. It is. But Chris, my least favorite F-nut, thought he was the shiz. Yeah, supposedly he was a pitcher in minor league baseball. Yeah. Well, he got up there, and he didn't even get one. He got a strikeout. I don't know if he even got any hits. I don't think he did get any hits. <laughs> Maybe he fouled off a couple, but... Like, I know he's a pitcher, but I'm sure you had to hit. I think he protected the like plate a couple times, but pff, that was about it. So, yeah, he was not the shiz. Mm -hmm. So, we also come to find out that Jeremy's parents are both gone. Yeah. So, she could really relate to that. Eric, the Greek. Well, he, he talks about a Greek being girl. Greek. Yeah. And she's tired of that. It's kind of a bore. She wants some new crap to talk about. She only wants to talk about being Greek when she wants to. And Brian, he's got goals, and that's a good thing. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I was unsure about Mr. Silver Fox, but after like hearing him. more about him this um, episode, I think he's really sweet. Yes. And he's a good guy. Well, Jason, we find out, but not anybody else. He's got a son. A three-year-old son named Ty. Ty Ty. Named after Ty Pennington? Could be. Know. Well, uh, Jeremy ended up getting the rose on the group date. He really opened up to her. I think she appreciated that. Mm -hmm. So they ended it with some fireworks. Ooh. That was fun. So back at the cocktail party. Everyone is jealous of Jeremy. I don't blame them. It always happens. He's got that big connection with her. Mm -hmm. And he was totally macking on her at the cocktail party. Whoa. So, uh, yeah, it's a push-up contest. Yes. <laughs> we made a whole tri-state area. <laughs> Does anyone remember that Saturday Night Live sketch with Ashton I Kutcher? Do. That was so funny. Oh, my God. So, yeah, Jesse the snowboarder wins. Yeah, it was down to him and Brian, Silver Fox. Yeah, I think Silver Fox was cheating a little bit to get that far, but... Jesse won in the end. I think they were all cheating. He won some time with her, and yeah. I really like how he opened up about how he would like to be Mr. Dad. Yeah, he's another one I was unsure about, and right. now I'm like, oh, he's a cool dude. The only thing that really turns me off about him is that he looks like Mike Boogie from uh, Big Brother. Yeah, a little bit. Like, he could be Mike Boogie's younger brother. No! <laughs> he could be. So then it was time for the roses. And we all know that Paul, Graham, and Jeremy have already gotten their roses for various reasons. Yes. So next up, Ron. Then Jesse. Robert. Then Brian. Jason. Then Fred. Sean. Richard. And... Uh, what does that say? Oh. It says Twilly. Yeah. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. Why'd you keep the F-naught? 
So that means goodbye to Eric, Chris, and Ryan. And you know what? I think she was regretting already keeping Twilly because she went off and she had to cry her brains out. Yeah. Did the producers, like, force her to keep him or something? I don't know. She's like, it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> it's only going to get harder. That's what she said. Okay, so next week, Deanna totally Deanna. fall. I don't care. I'm not dating her. <laughs> she totally falls off the mechanical bull. Yeah, it's all fun at first. <laughs> it's all fun. <laughs> Until somebody falls off the mechanical bull. So she was like, ow, ow! Yeah, I don't think she really got hurt. I think she was faking it. I don't know. Because she just wanted somebody to go make out with her. And then it's time to go see Ellen. I would like to see how everyone looks in my Ellen boxers. Yay! Well, kids, we'll have to wait a whole week. Mm -hmm. Till then. Much love.